Hi everyone, my name is Adam. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you the extensive list of improvements and features you can expect in ACDC Ultimate 2023, ACDC Professional 2023, and ACDC Home 2023, representing the ACDC Photo Studio line. I'll be showcasing these features using ACDC Ultimate. The blue icon at the bottom right will indicate that the feature is available in Ultimate. The red icon will indicate for Pro, and the yellow icon will indicate for Home. I will be timestamping the features in the description below so you can skip ahead to the feature that most interests you. AI Actions Brand new to ACDC Ultimate is AI Actions. AI Actions allows you to isolate certain elements in your composition. Navigate to AI Actions from Edit Mode. You will find it above the Layer panel beside the histogram. AI Actions allows you to remove the background. Note that the image is masked. Select Subject. Note that our subject is added to the current selection. Blur background. Create a black and white background. And select sky. Notice how well the AI action handles clouds. AI actions are a powerful method of selection, often reducing or removing entirely the manual selection process. AI Face Edit. New to Ultimate in 2023 is the AI Face Edit tool. Simply select an image with a prominent face to bring it into edit mode. Once in edit mode, you will find AI Face Edit on the filter menu at the top. Let's click it to begin. In the tool, your image's face will be scanned and plotted so you can adjust individual sections. Sections in this tool are categorized by individual face elements, like face, eyes, eyebrows, nose, mouth, etc. I'm going to tab over to the Edit AI points to ensure that mine match what I see in my image. Mine are very close, and I'm just going to adjust the right cheek here. I'll simply pull these nodes further to the right to better match the cheek lines. Now, when I navigate back to the Edit Face tab, I can use a variety of different sliders to change the appearance of my image. For example, I can elongate or shrink the chin. I can go into the eye tool to increase the size or decrease the size of the eyes. I can reduce the wrinkles under the eyes, same goes for crow's feet. I can even use the tool to whiten the appearance of someone's teeth. There are a ton of different face sliders to play with in the tool, and I'd highly suggest toying around with it and its different functionalities. Please note that at the time of this recording, this tool is still in development and behavioral or user interface changes are expected. ACDC Photo Merge and Panorama. After many years of user suggestions, Panorama is here. Panorama Stitching is available in Ultimate and Pro. Panorama Stitching and Photo Merge allow you to combine pictures taken in the same area with the same dimensions. To navigate to Panorama Stitching, open a folder in Manage Mode containing images linked by scenery in some way. Select those images and click Process from the top menu bar. You can find Panorama on its own or as a part of the new Photo Merge tool. I'll open Photo Merge and click Panorama from the options bar on the right. Click Next, unless you want to add additional images. Photo Merge also gives you the option to perform HDR or focus stacking. When combined, your images will be stitched together. Panorama will now allow you to perform some specific options. For example, you can rotate your image if it is needed. You can crop away the extra pixels where the image was warped. And you can apply a negative vignette if your image is too heavily vignetted. 
Clicking Options will provide you with some output information, like being able to change the format or save location. Once you're happy with your image, simply click Merge. The merged image will become available in the default folder unless you change the location and options. I'll open my image in view mode. As you can see, the image is stitched together and almost 10,000 pixels wide. New Develop Presets We've introduced two new sets of presets to develop mode. Navigate to develop mode using the mode icon at the top right of the menu bar. When you enter develop mode, a series of presets will be visible on the right side. In 2023, we've added the vintage and food presets, which are a great option to recontextualize your images. Like all presets, they can be tweaked or adjusted using the filter tools on the left. To add a preset, simply click the preset name and then the respective preset you want to apply. HDR and focus stacking. Previously available only in Ultimate, HDR and focus stacking have been brought to Professional. I'm going to select some images in Manage Mode that I would like to apply High Dynamic Range to. Navigate to Photo Merge using the Process menu bar. I'll select HDR from the options on the right. ACDC will take a moment to think and present me with a preview and some options. I'll select Natural from the Presets dropdown and apply the Merge effect. Once again, I can change the output file and location but I'll keep it the same for this operation. Here's the result. I can also do the same with focus stacking. Here's the focus stack result. Shape selection tool. Brand new to 2023 is the shape selection tool which replaces the polygonal selection tool. I'll navigate to an image in edit mode and click the shape selection tool from the toolbar. It's located here next to the brush selection tool. I will begin placing some nodes around my basketball hoop here. I'll double click anywhere to finalize the shape of the selection. From here, I can click on spaces between nodes to draw them outwards and add curvature to the selection. I can even reposition my square nodes to slide selections around. This is an incredibly powerful tool that will allow me to manipulate my selections to a very precise degree. When I'm happy with my selections, I can click the Commit button. I can then reopen the Shape Selection tool or any other selection tool to begin adding the bottom section of my image as I please. New Quick Search New to 2023 is a complete overhaul to the Quick Search functionality. Quick Search is found above the Preview panel in Manage Mode. New in 2023 is the Quick Search Refine tool. Refine allows you to select a method to employ for searching. A drop-down displays the options. Let's go over what they do in more depth. Contains any. Contains any means that a search for cat, comma, dog would return any results containing either or a combination of the two. It'll also include items that contain a part of the word, uh, aka catamaran. Contains all. Contains all means that a search for cat, comma, dog would return all results containing both cat and dog. Contains words. Contains words means that a search for cat, comma, dog would return all results that include the whole word cat and dog. Does not contain. Does not contain means that a search for cat, comma, dog would return all results that do not include the words cat or dog. Starts with. Starts with means that a search for cat would return all results that begin with cat, such as catamaran. Ends with. Ends with means that a search for sing would return all results that end with sing, such as rising. 
This is a vast improvement from the functionality of the previous quick searches, but if you would like to return to the old method of searching, you can use classic quick search. Improved advanced search. Advanced search has been completely overhauled as well. To bring up advanced search, make sure you have it turned on by navigating to panes and search. Search will be located next to the properties pane on the left hand panel. Searches can be saved from the top menu here. So once we've defined the other metrics, we can come back to this and save it if we'd like to. The view asks us to choose a source first. Sources that can be chosen are database, meaning ACDC will search items added to your entire database, folders, meaning that you can select which folders are chosen, and the current view, meaning whatever is displayed in the preview pane will be searched. I'll select database. Next, we can add a criteria. Let's use some basic ACDC metadata as my criteria. I'll click the plus button beneath the criteria section and expand the ACDC metadata dropdown. We'll add categories and keywords. I can set my category by manually typing it in, but I can also use the checklist icon here to select from a list of categories I've already established. Let's add places and click OK. Notice that the category field is now populated with the word places. Let's do the same with keywords. Click the checkbox icon. I'll select ocean from the list. Click OK. Ocean is now populated. Before we run this action by clicking start, let's make sure to return folder contents only. This means that if I have any folders that contained names we searched for, we will only see the images themselves. Now the images I see before me have a category of places and a keyword of ocean. But wait, there's more. And or advanced search. Also new in 2023 is the ability to toggle criteria between and or. This means if I was to add another criteria by clicking the plus icon, this time let's search for people by adding people to our criteria list. We'll use the check mark box to select Bebek and click OK. If I run this search as and, it will be searching for an image that has a category of places, a keyword of ocean, and the person Bebek, which you'll see in a moment doesn't exist in my database. But if I toggle the and button to or and run the same search, now suddenly all of our ocean images are listed and at the bottom, all of our images that contain the person Bebek are also listed. This is the power of the and or function. WebP image support. ACDC now supports WebP GIFs and improvements have been made to illustrate regular WebP images with transparent qualities. Media mode improvements. Media mode now features a properties pane that allows you to assign metadata. Let's navigate to media mode. On the right hand side, we can collapse or expand the properties pane. From here, we can see existing metadata using the metadata panel or navigate to the organized panel to add custom ACDC metadata. Let's select a group of images and add a new keyword to them. I'll select a group of images and add a city keyword by right clicking on the keywords and creating a new one. Once the keyword is created, we'll select it and it will be added to our images. Please note that metadata added in media mode will be added to the database and will be visible in manage mode, for example. There are several other features and improvements that couldn't be covered in this video. They will be featured on the individual product pages. Stay tuned for more tutorial content as we approach the release date and always please like, comment, and subscribe. Click the bell icon to be notified when we upload more videos. Take care.